Probably the biggest slow turn I've seen so far. Jazz. You can just barely see everything loading outside of draw distance there. The lever, I wonder if it does it back there as well. Kinda. Not so noticeably. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? Yep, I dig that that keyboard solo. My jam. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be She's careful. the only one with breath. Girls are fake. Take care of them. Come on, girls. Did that hang around? We have a bus to catch. Dude, he's retracing the steps too. Oh, I'm playing now. <laughs> Whoops. <clears throat> They managed to get more Cyberlife buses? Or not buses, but uh, trucks? The authorities have ordered all androids to be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your android. Under no circumstances should you try to destroy your android yourself. They are unpredictable and potentially. We've got to find a warm place for Alice.
How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. seen her in a while. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have built fast to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. Go to a venture, dead. But according to some sources, Russian forces also oh, is that a car? It the is. Has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. A chairman. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours. And we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. <laughs> oh, it's as simple as that. <laughs> I shan't repeat that one. Is that... Oh, they're 3D printing parts? That is f***ing cool. Where did I leave them? I forget. I, oh, it's on that side. We gotta do something. We can't just stand by and let them slaughter us. I knew it! I fucking knew it! Young kid, 500. You knew from the beginning. 
You just didn't want to see it. She wanted a mom. And you wanted someone to care for. You needed each other. What difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are. To Uther, what someone needs a man to speaks wisdom. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Is there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. Forever! We're short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war, but I'd rather die free than live as a slave. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone, try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. More than likely. North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. Said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit. A and dirty bomb? Explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. 
If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. I'd rather have it than not need it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. Is North about to go south? Succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. It's about to get real. Unless I deviate. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. You're coming with me! We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. You don't have to be their slave anymore. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or living being, capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. That was not a hard decision to make. I've been wanting these two to team up since the beginning. to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Shit. What's going on, Cap? You think he would do his Quick, we've got to get mind out of power to get them out of there. Like, everybody run!
Man, the running is this wonky. There must be an exit. Second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus. I won't be long. It's gonna get tricky. Ooh. Not Daisy. This is the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. Going through it. You can't put Alice in danger. Blasting Go her. now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I'll manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. I'll catch him through the border, okay? Go now. Take care of each other. My man. Three of the longest meters. Gamma squad out. Turn go. Look out. Here they come. Don't move. 
Join you later. My button mashing. I am the button ma mashing master. <laughs> Marcus, bomb's gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. hits. Damn, I took a lot of hits. Back.
You said I should never let anyone tell me who I was. But you didn't say that there was such a high price to pay for it. That freedom wasn't a gift, that it was a fight, but... I don't know. Maybe that's what you were trying to tell me. I don't know what to do anymore. All of my options are bad ones. No matter what I decide, I know there will be blood. What should I do, Carl? They're killing us. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but what choice do I have? I miss you, Carl. <laughs> I miss you so much. say anything if I was him. I wonder if that would be different had I chosen the violent path. Now I'm curious. Furniture. Uh, the irony. <laughs> 